The Wrath of Ape Canyon, located in the Pacific Northwest. Ape Canyon rests at the foot of Mount St. Helens in Washington State, USA. In the summer of 1924, deep in the wilderness near Mount St. Helens, a group of miners sought their fortune in the rugged terrain. Among them was Fred Beck, a seasoned prospector with a weathered face and a steely resolve. His companions, equally determined, but with a hint of trepidation in their eyes, followed him into the unknown. As they made their way to the cabin, they stumbled upon a startling discovery. Huge footprints etched into the soft earth along the Lewis River, stretched out before them like ominous markers. The miners exchanged nervous glances, their footsteps quickening as they pressed on towards their destination, the weight of unease settling heavy on their shoulders. Each step felt like a journey into the unknown, with every rustle of leaves or snap of a twig sending shivers down their spines. That's when they spotted it. A massive figure towering against the backdrop of the dense forest stood motionless by a tree, its form obscured by the shadows of the towering pines. Without hesitation, one of the miners raised his rifle and took a shot. The crack of the gunshot shattered the silence of the woods, reverberating through the trees like a warning bell. But the shot missed its mark, sending bark flying from the tree and angering the creature. In an instant, the peaceful afternoon turned to chaos as the creatures, enraged by the attack, descended upon the cabin with a fury that defied comprehension. Through the gaps in the log cabin walls, illuminated by the soft glow of the moon, they caught glimpses of their assailants. Large, shadowy figures lurked among the trees, their eyes gleaming with an otherworldly light that sent shivers down the miners' spines. Fear gripped their hearts as they realized the true nature of the threat they faced. In a desperate bid to defend themselves, the miners fired back, their rifles blazing in the darkness as they tried to hold off the relentless onslaught. But the creatures were relentless, their primal cries echoing through the night as they hurled rocks at the cabin with uncanny accuracy, testing the resolve of the miners with each blow. As the first light of dawn crept over the horizon, the creatures vanished into the wilderness, leaving the miners shaken but alive. But the terror of that night would stay with them forever, etched into their memories like scars upon their souls. They knew that they had come face to face with something beyond their understanding, something ancient and primal that lurked in the shadows of the forest. For years afterward, the miners lived in fear of another encounter haunted by the knowledge that the creatures still roamed the wilderness lurking just beyond the edge of civilization. Their experience became a cautionary tale, whispered around campfires and shared in hushed tones, a reminder of the dangers that lay hidden in the depths of the wilderness. To this day, the Ape Canyon incident remains one of the most puzzling chapters in the annals of cryptozoology and Sasquatch lore a testament to the mysteries that lie hidden in the depths of the wilderness waiting to be uncovered by those brave enough to seek them out. And though the miners may have survived that fateful night, the memory of the creatures that descended upon them with such fury will never fade.